Hi, I'm Andrew with NVIDIA. You're watching GeForce Garage. Airbrushing is a great way to put the finishing touches on your build and really tie the theme all together. Today in the studio, we have Ron Lee Christensen from Blue Horse Studios to show us exactly how it's done. Tell us a little bit about your specialization and what exactly you're gonna show us. Yeah, we're just gonna use some very basic airbrushing techniques. We're gonna use some stencils to create some really cool graphics, uh, some flames, uh, some font lettering, and a few other things. All right, well, uh, let's get started. All right, starting with our airbrush that we're going to be using today, this is my favorite airbrush, the Iwata HPCS, and it'll spray from a wide pattern all the way down to an eyelash, depending on your tip size that you use in the airbrush. And then coming over here, got some pre-cut stencils. If you guys don't have a vinyl maker, you can just go right down to your vinyl shop, get these printed out for a couple bucks each. Uh, we're going to show you how you use the transfer tape attached to the vinyl, weed these out, and then get it attached to your project. Uh, we got some wet naps. We got a squeegee for applying the stencils. Yeah, I just use an old you know, bank card, credit card, and just use a little bit of painter's tape over the top of it, and it works great to, uh, to apply your graphics uh, onto your uh, substrate or panel or whatever you're using. Uh, an X-Acto knife for applying the graphics, a little bit of painter's tape. My favorite brand of paints that, that we use the Createx Wicked Colors. These are water-based paint. Uh, we got some gloves, and what we're gonna be spraying today is the Corsair HX850 power supply. And we're gonna do some flames and a few other things on this, um, the NVIDIA logo. First step we need to do is go ahead and remove the factory stickers. All right, with the stickers removed, we're just gonna use some alcohol wipes just to clean up any residue left over from the sticker. Okay, so the next step is, so we're gonna go ahead and weed out our vinyl graphic. So you're just gonna need an X-Acto blade and just gonna wanna get under the part that you're gonna wanna spray onto your stencil. Okay, so now with our graphic weeded out here, um, the negative that you see in the blue will actually be sprayed the color that we're gonna choose for the NVIDIA color, which is gonna be that lime green, kind of yellowish color. And that's gonna be sprayed as we apply the graphic to uh, the panel here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of our transfer tape to the vinyl graphic. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and make a nice little slice down my transfer tape. Go ahead and peel off just a small piece that I need here. Go ahead and cut that down to size. And I'll just lay it over my graphic. If you get any air bubbles in, that's where your squeegee comes in, in handy. Just go ahead, you can work most of them out with your finger at this point. Just cut off any excess. And we're ready to go ahead and apply the, the graphic to our panel. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and apply the vinyl graphic to our power supply. And what you want to do is go ahead and remove the back of the vinyl. Just peels up really easily. All right, and we just want to go ahead and apply it to the power supply. And this is where you want to be careful that you don't get any bubbles into your graphic because if you have any seams that are lifted, then you're, you, you can get paint bleed underneath your graphic that you don't want paint to show up on your final work. All right, with the graphic laid down, now you just want to go ahead and pull up your transfer tape. You kind of want to pull down in an angle so you don't pull up the graphic. And you get a perfect stencil to start your airbrushing. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and uh, mask the power supply off. We don't wanna get any paint into the fan intakes or the exhaust, making sure this is masked off correctly before we spray any paint. We got the power supply all taped off here and what we're going to do is go ahead and mix up our first colors and spray our first coats. 
before we can start spraying, we need to go ahead and mix some paint. And for this tutorial, we're just gonna go ahead and do a 50-50 mix. We're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the pearl grain and just go ahead and mix that, just a couple drops of reducer. Just mix it up. Make sure you got a good consistency. If it's too thin, then you know that uh, you need to add a little bit more paint. You kind of want the consistency of skim milk, which uh, we have. Now we're ready to go ahead and add our first uh, colors. So what I've done is went ahead and mixed up a few different colors of the green in different shades here, because what we're gonna do on the power supply is go ahead and do a gradient effect. And so next step, what we need to do is go ahead and prime our airbrush and get it ready to spray. And the way that you do that is put a little bit of a reducer into the gun and just spray the reducer out the gun, make sure we don't have any tip clog. And we're ready to go ahead and add our first droplets of paint. Uh, we're gonna start with a white base coat and we're just gonna go ahead and lightly fog in our first uh, layers of color. What I like to do is hold the brush back a good 12 to 15 inches because you don't want the buildup to happen too quick because it can start watering down on you and start dripping through the vinyl mask and getting paint bleed. So you wanna do this step very slowly. It's kind of just creating a tack coat. And just add a little bit more paint. I only like to work with a few drops at a time, that way I'm not wasting paint. You can always add more paint, but trying to put extra paint back into your bottles can be kind of messy. Okay, so that's it for our uh, white base coat. So the next step is go ahead and mix our green color. What I like to do is put on a glove because these do have dyes in them. And even though they're water-based, they can stain your hands. We're gonna use a little bit of the pearlized green. And I'm gonna start in the middle of the graphic and work my way up to a darker color. All right, now we just wanna go ahead and let that color dry for a couple minutes. So the next step, we're gonna to switch to a little bit of darker color that we mixed up. What I wanna do is kinda of keep the center a little bit lighter than the top and the bottom to create that kind of gradient effect. And we'll do that on the top NVIDIA logo as well. Then go ahead and switch to a little bit darker color. And I'm just gonna work my way around the edges of the vinyl graphic, kinda of create a shadow layer. So that's pretty much it for the layers uh, to create the gradient. What you can do to really make this graphic pop is go back over those lighter areas that just add a little bit of white to your mix to create a really fine uh, highlight. That's pretty much how you can do a gradient graphic there and we'll go ahead and let that dry for a few minutes before we pull off our graphic and then we'll go ahead and add a few flames to the top of the power supply to just to finish the project off. All right, now that the piece is dry, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove all the blue painter's tape. We can go ahead and remove the vinyl stencils. All right, man, nothing says personalization like custom decals. That's super cool. Yeah, it was a pretty easy graphic to create. We just laid down some uh, vinyl graphics and then just sprayed over it with this really cool gradient. And then on the back side here, we went ahead and added some flames to tie into the rest of the chassis. We did some uh, flames on the front and back doors as well. So that's gonna tie in with the whole look. Cool, that's great. And of course, you know, guys out there, you can do anything you want with airbrushing, which is what is so cool about it. Uh, create any kind of stencil you want, any logo, uh, picture of your cat, your mom maybe, who knows. Put it on anything you want and it really ties the build together. So it's a really cool, customized way to end the build. Thanks so much for coming on, Ron. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's great being here. And thanks to NVIDIA for having me. You're watching GeForce Garage, the ultimate resource center for design, building, and customizing your GTX PC. At GeForce.com slash garage, we have a ton more content for you to check out if you hadn't had enough. If you like this video, there's going to be some more coming up on the screen right now. Boop! Right here. Go ahead and click it. And there's a second video for you to check out right here. Woo! All right. Check it out. No, no, seriously, check it out.